Hey, what's up everybody? Today we got a brand new video and I just want to talk about some of the loot from this season and just kind of name like 10 weapons that I'm hunting for. Not really a particular order, but I guess roughly one. So uh, hopefully you just sit down, like, comment, subscribe. Please tell me what weapons you're looking for and what roles you want on them. And yeah, let's just share what builds we want to make in the future. And just to start off this video, kind of the number 10 spot, just in case. And I want this just in case the planned sword rework is that good. Uh, it's not particularly that great of a sword when compared to something like the other half. If you have a crafted other half, you probably don't need another sword ever again because Eager Edge is probably the best sword perk in the game. But... I figure there's some decent rolls on here. Maybe incandescent you can make some fun builds with on solar with swords. It could be good for solar titan with stronghold. Uh, we'll just have to see how that rework goes, honestly. And if you want just in case, go fishing. That's where you get it from. You fish, you deposit your fish in the helm, and you have a chance of getting just in case. And now moving into our like number nine type of spot here, I'm giving it to age old bond. Um, I'm not particularly overly hyped about it, but we, it's been a minute since we've had a good void auto rifle. This one is a pretty good one and it's craftable. It's from the last wish raid actually it does have some really good rolls, especially for build crafting. It has Repulsor Brace in the left slot, so you still get damage perks in that right slot. And you could also use Destabilizing Rounds if you like them, but they're not really the best. It's better to kit out for Volatile Rounds in your build. But if you want to do it that way, you can. That way you can have infinite overshields on Void, which is great. So, Age Old Bond, kind of that number 9 spot. Not overly hyped about it, but... I still want a really good one because Void Auto Rifles are hard to come by and it's a really, really good one. Then moving into our like number eight spot, we got Techian Force. And honestly, of all the fusion rifles, this one impressed me the most this season. It's got some pretty cool stuff like controlled burst. I feel like with either rewind rounds or reconstruction could be really, really solid. So, maybe I'll give it a try if I can get that crafted, and I'll let you guys know how that is. Again, from the Last Wish Raid. Now, kind of our number 7 pick here, another Last Wish Raid weapon. This is going to be Supremacy, the Sniper Rifle. Oh my god, some of these rolls are nuts. I think I heard with the... Uh, Four times the charm and rewind rounds, you can end up shooting like 47 shots in a row, which is nuts from a sniper rifle. Also, it has kinetic tremors, which is hilarious to think about on a sniper rifle. A lot of cool things that I want to try out with it. I love kinetic tremors, and I also love shooting like 50 shots with a sniper in a row, so um, a lot of good stuff there. I do already have my uh, some progression on crafting it and uh hopefully i can get it crafted soon i just have really bad luck with getting red borders and coming in at our number six spot i'll let you just guess uh where this is coming from uh the last wish raid it's gonna be the apex predator rocket launcher it's solar it's way too good it's probably gonna be the reason rockets get nerfed if you want demo for a grenade build, it has demo in the left slot, meaning in the right slot you could use Vorpal. But why would you use Vorpal when you could use Bait and Switch? Oh yeah, Dimension has reconstruction so you can fire like three rockets in a row from it. It's crazy. You should go check out some of the videos with people spamming Apex Predator shots. It's honestly dumb. Like it's dummy strong. So go check that out. It's really crazy. Now don't worry. We're going to number 5. And here at number 5, we don't have to worry about Last Wish sneaking in again. Okay? 
we're going with a ghost of the deep weapon here so it won't be craftable unfortunately but we're talking about new pacific epitaph it's a stasis grenade launcher which i think this might be the first breech loaded one if not it's the first wave frame stasis other than the heavy one the heavy wave frame um the rolls are pretty good on it in my brain i was like why doesn't it have chill clip that'd be amazing it would not work on the wave that is the blast radius of the grenade launcher meaning it would not work with chill clip unfortunately cool thought though right um anyways yeah it's pretty good uh, i love wave frame grenade launchers i think they're great having one in the kinetic slot frees up the rest of your build so if you want to run i don't know sunshot just off the top of my head that's what i thought of you could do that with a wave frame now that's pretty cool uh anyways now let's move on to number four and can we guess what this weapon is from ladies and gentlemen oh yeah it's gonna be from the last wish raid so it's gonna be craftable hey chattering bone it's so good one of the best pulse rifles in the game you can roll double damage perks you roll kill clip rampage that's amazing but you could also run uh kill clip with kinetic tremors and i think that's hilarious and i want to try it really bad um you're gonna see how much i love kinetic tremors throughout this uh i just really enjoy it and that's my number four spot before we get to like the top three things which honestly are not the three strongest things this season they're just things that i think are fun or funny or whatever Let's just get into some honorable mentions. But first, how about some unhonorable mentions? First off, let's address the elephant in the room. Unexpected resurgence, the trials glaive. What the fuck? I would have been more okay with it personally if it was strand stasis or kinetic. But it's just an art glaive. And they said it was kitted for PvP, so it'd be different and better in PvP. It's the same thing, Bungie. Pretty much every glaive is the same except for Judgment of Kelgarath at this point. Maybe if it was a lightweight frame. Those don't exist yet, but if it was lightweight, maybe. Anyways, it's just kind of a disappointment to see a glaive as the trials reward and it not really setting itself apart from other glaives honestly so maybe if it's in a different slot this would be a different conversation and our last unhonorable mention which honestly i didn't think would be here the bray tech osprey what happened i mean part of it is comparing it to the two other rocks of the season like Apex Predator is insane rocket launcher wise, but Bray Tech is so bad in comparison. Like, it's not even near top five rocket launchers. Hothead, another Nightfall rocket launcher, is leagues above Bray Tech. Oh my, Bray Tech's so bad. It looks cool at least, right? But it's bad, bad. Anyways. Let's talk about some honorable mentions. Some weapons that I like, but they didn't quite make the cut for this video. First, we're going to talk pressurized precision. Uh, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the rolls. It's mostly a PvP fusion. I get that. I don't play too much PvP. Um, I just wish it had more options PvE-wise. But that, it just doesn't for me. Um... A chill clip fusion that that connects a lot is hard to compete with for a strand fusion and always will be pressurized precision is the first strand fusion which is great but i do expect more of those to come out in the next couple seasons i just see that happening so hopefully those are more kitted for pve let's see how that goes and our next honorable mention it's not because it's good it's just because i like the way it looks greasy luck it's a harpoon launcher and i think that's sick but at the end of the day it is just another solar glaive we have what four of those now four or five depending on how you count adept weapons 
it's it's nothing special. Um, again, would have made the list if it was in the connect slot. Easily made the list if it was in the connect slot. Like the glaives this season, we keep getting more and more glaives, but there's nothing unique about them. I guess Greasy Luck is, I think, the first rapid fire glaive, which is cool, maybe. But honestly. I don't see it. I haven't had it drop for me yet. Maybe it's really good, but I honestly can't see it beating out Judgment of Kelgrath for me. I still use Judgment of Kelgrath from time to time. I love Judgment of Kelgrath, but I just don't see myself using Greasy Luck unless I'm using it for fashion purposes because it has a giant harpoon on it, and I think that's sick. Anyways, moving on to weapons I actually want for performance-wise and builds and stuff like that. Our number three spot. Randy's Throwing Knife. I absolutely loved this when it was the pinnacle weapon back in Shadowkeep. I mean, it really wasn't a pinnacle weapon. There were ritual weapons already, but whatever. Randy's Throwing Knife. It's a rapid-fire frame scout, and it's just beautiful. I love the sights on it. I love the way it fires. I love everything about it. And as kinetic tremors, which I love, I there's just so much to love about Randy's throwing knife, in my opinion. And I feel like it's majorly slept on because it's scout rifle, so scout rifle bad, right? I mean, yeah. But Randy's throwing knife, it just does it for me. Anyways, moving on to number two. Oh yeah, Randy's throwing knife's from Crucible. Sorry. So now moving on to our like number two spot. Again, a non-craftable weapon. That's the whole top three are not craftable. Now this one. If you're sticking through this video, hear me out. You're probably going to be mad at this bug out bag. It's from fishing. It's not craftable. And honestly, the old reckoning weapons, their uh, origin trait, not that great. But bug out bag. I want it for one reason incandescent gut shot straight they do work together so bug out bag can spread scorch so easily next let's talk about cold comfort it's from ghost of the deep it's a rocket launcher it has chill clip i, I should preface this by saying my favorite legendary weapon in the whole game right now that i own is bump in the night i love my crafted bump in the night and there's a chance cold comfort doesn't touch it because I have auto loading chill clip on it. So if there's a G horn, launch a rocket, switch to like wither horde or whatever, shoot it, and I get a damage loop going. Cold comfort, you can hold like three rockets in the tube, meaning you don't really need G horn to shatter. That's really cool, but I don't know how damage wise it compares to Bump of the Night. But for solo. Playing solo, cold comfort would probably be better if I'm running stasis. So, I just want it really bad, because I love chill clip rocket launchers. And I love bump the night, so maybe cold comfort will scratch that itch too. Anyways, that's like my top 10 with some honorable and unhonorable mentions. So, tell me yours. Tell me what weapons you want from this season. Um... And why you want them. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.